Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 20-3, Chapter 4, Review, Part 2. Charlotte was building a dollhouse that's a scale replica, scale replica of her own house. One of the windows in the front of the house is 105 centimeters wide and 126 centimeters high. On the dollhouse, the window is 7 centimeters wide. Question A, write a scale statement for the dollhouse. Well, Seven centimeters. How wide is it on the house? Check your hundred and five. Now, if we write it like this, I'm going, I think, I think, I think, I think we can simplify that. One hundred and five divided by seven centimeters. Yes. So this is one to fifteen. Now, if we write this as a scale factor, So the question is, what's the height of the window on the dollhouse? Well, we just said the scale factor is 1 to 15, so that's a model. So, double checking, it is 126 centimeters high. So the real one, 126 centimeters, we need to know the model. So here we have to cross multiply. One hundred and twenty-six fifteen x. Can we get rid of times fifteen? Mm -hmm. Divide by fifteen. That's zeros. Top, sorry, front, top, and side views. Now this is orthographic. Now this is the front. So the little practice you realize. This twin front. This twin front. Those three. That goes two. Okay, so that's the top left side. Now, this is front, top, and sides. So I'm actually going to do the side first. I'm doing the same idea. There's one block that I like to try. So right off the bat, it's going to walk off like that. Now that the front is four high, so the side should be four high. So I'm saying A, center. This is the front, so it should be going from this side. This is the top, this is the front, we've got a 
off here. Then we have one funeral box. One straight up. Now, as a graphic, now, one point perspective. Draw a perspective drawing of a prism with the front face shown. Use a horizontal line and vanish and point to get it. I'm going to click that in the ruler. I'm going to try doing it here as best I can. What do I do? Well, I took the point, a part right back. And now, be careful, this is the pathway. So I go across like this, and do this side, and I go down. Oh, shoot, I missed the line. I missed a couple of lines. I know this. In the corners, I gotta go from the corners. Cool. Start from the top to this one, so I go across, so I need this line here, like that. Now, here, I go down, so I need this line, I go across, I need this line, I go down here, into the corner, I need this line, I go across here, I need this line, and I go down. Okay, that's most of it. Now, I will point out over here, I missed this bit here, this line going back. And notice I stopped. Once I reach the edge. Now, is that a nice explanation? No. Is that a good drawing? No, but you guys have shown me you can do this. So, up here and I start erasing these lines. And there we go. There's my one point perspective with my vanishing point in the background. Oh, shoot. I missed a line. My bad. There we go. Now, that's roughly. What I expect to be able to do. All right, I'm going to stop here because the next one takes a little bit. All right, so this is one point perspective and also graph. Okay, we're doing isometric in a minute. Anyway, so if you got any questions about this, shoot me an email. Otherwise, work on the uh, software. Good luck.